value. But it was the process you went through to learn about that career. That's a lifelong skill. You know, we gave this challenge to all of the schools. And every school chose how to prepare you and how to prepare all the students in the eighth grade to explore a career. And some of them worked in your language arts classes. Some of you also worked with your, I'm sure all of you worked with your site directors. And others, your up staff. But you all worked uniquely in your schools to prepare. And then to give that speech over and over again. But the process you went through to choose a career, think about that. You did research. You got online. You learned how to pull together resources, how to ask questions. And you learned about what you like and what you don't like. And we, in this, we hope we taught you a lifelong skill. A lifelong skill of how do you explore and discover new information that you don't have. So we, we like to think that you have a skill that's going to help you really move forward in your in your career and in your and in your school. Now I have a quick map, quick map test. It's not too hard. It's just for the students. All right, you're in the eighth grade, right? Add four years to that. What grade are you in? That one's too hard. Twelve. Senior. You're seniors. Seems like a long way away, doesn't it? Seniors in high school. Now I've got a subtraction. Eighth grade minus four years. What grade are you? Fourth grade. You're in the fourth grade. I asked that at a career a career event up in, in uh, Moses Lake. There were a thousand kids in the room, and a lot of them were saying five fifth grade. <laughs> but it, it just depends how you count that was on your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so that was almost all the grade. Very fast. The next four years, even though it seems a long way out, the decisions you make now as you're on the step of high school, you have to really pay attention to your school. You have a clean slate. The grades start counting now for your next step after high school, your post high school education, your college experience. So now's the time to really get focused because it's going to go fast if you don't pay attention. You don't want to, you don't want to end up being a junior or senior, right? And saying, oh my gosh, I wish I had paid attention to my grades. I wish I had stepped out of my fear and taken those harder courses. Like right now, algebra. Very important you nail that algebra down here in this year. How many are taking algebra? All right. You work really hard because that's a real indicator of, of success in college. And then what about high school? You need four years of math. Uh, our, our prior uh, dean of academic affairs here, he always got up front and said, you know what, math is a great discriminator. Don't shy away from those tough courses. I wish I had taken more math uh, in high school and college. So that's that's one of the key messages we want to give. Europe is all about helping you get a dream and get a plan and a vision for going on to, to education after high school. Go to some kind of college. And that is going to set you up more than anything else to open doors in your life. And the things you do in the next four years is that it's going to make a big difference in how many doors you have to open in going into a college of your choice. So I wish you all the best. I don't know if I'm, I'm uh, taking a little time here while they're counting scores. And how close are we, uh, Lupe? Okay. Before before we have her come back down again, I want a special thank you to some of our here up staff that have helped us with this event. Michelle Parker.